With regards to dietetics, uh, the science of Ayurveda has gone in such details that today's world which classifies food as just basic means of proteins, carbohydrates, fats and minerals and vitamins, Ayurveda has never classified food in that matter. Uh, Ayurveda has classified food based on the qualities it is going to give to the person once the food is consumed by the person. I'll give a small example of meats which we today generally classify as red meats and white meats and everybody says that white meats are healthy and red meats are unhealthy. Uh, Ayurveda has a little different uh, approach towards it. Red meats are classified according to the animal source from where they have been got. Pork, beef, mutton, goat's meat, venison, veal, all these have got different qualities on the body. The qualities of a pig, if you look at it, uh, the pig loves marshy land, is obese, slow, sluggish, moves, though is rapid on its feet, but the movement is very slow. The similar qualities are attributed to the person who eats pork more. I have had so many cases of people who have come with very thick skin and not being able, uh, uh, very thick and a coarse skin and wanting to have a little nicer skin. And if you go into the history and ask, they say, yeah, we indulge in a lot of pork. We eat a lot of pork. So this, once you start eating that meat in a lot of quantities, the same qualities are attributed to your body. When Ayurveda talks about meat, uh, they have given quality wise what meats are the best and uh, when this has been clinically seen, goat's meat has been seen as to be the best meat for any human being who indulges into non-vegetarian food. If you look at the qualities of a goat, it is red meat indeed, but goat has the capacity to climb up to the highest part of the hill looking out for leaves and it jumps, it's very sprightly on its feet. So these qualities are attributed to the body and the body doesn't put on weight eating goat's meat. Now we'll come to the other part of white meat. White meat the sources are basically duck, turkey or chicken. Chicken, if you observe a chicken around, all that it does it is eats very fast and passes its bowels very fast. The moment it keeps on picking up on its food and at the same time it's going to past its bowels. So the digestive capacity is very high. So the fiery content in that is very much. This meat is advisable for only people who've got less fire in them. You cannot generalize it and say this is white meat, this is chicken, which is light and which is nice. Light and nice for whom? Light and nice for definitely a kapha type of a person, but not light and nice for a pitta type of person because his fire is going to get agitated and vata is going to increase. If you look at the chicken, it's constantly moving, so it has a lot of vata in that itself. But for a pitta type of a person, the white meat he or, he or she should choose would be definitely from a duck. For a vata type of a person, the meat chosen would definitely be more which is going to be grounding. So in a vata type of a person, he or she can indulge in a little bit of pork, a little bit of mutton, a little bit of more of more of red meats as well. Similar dietics are advisable in vegetable kingdom as well. Uh, if you look at the vegetables available around, they've got certain structure. A potato is fully dense, grows under the ground. Carrots, turn, uh, carrots parsnips, potatoes, radishes, all these go grow underground. Leafy vegetables that we use grow above the ground. And there are certain vegetables which the central cavity is empty, like the bell peppers or capsicum. So the qualities imbibed to your body are dependent on what the qualities of the food material are. A potato is going to make you feel heavier definitely because it grows, it grows very close to the earth. It's on the ground. Whereas a bell pepper is definitely be, will be definitely lighter to la digest. So it will be the leafy vegetables which are grown above the ground, which are lighter to digest because they move with the wind, they're very thin. So when we choose a diet, we have to understand that the di what the diet is going to do, looking just looking structurally at what is available, rather than qualifying quantifying it into uh, carbohydrates, proteins, etc.